It's already Saturday, the end of the week here, and reading from 1 Corinthians chapter 1, 26. Consider your own calling, brothers and sisters. Not many were wise by human standards. Not many were powerful. Not many were of noble birth. Rather, God chose the foolish of this world to shame the wise, and God chose the weak of this world to shame the strong. And God chose the lowly and despised the world, those who count for nothing, to reduce to nothing those who are something, so that no human being might boast before God. I remember in uh, English literature, um, not English, excuse me, American Lit back in high school. One of my favorite courses, I like American Lit. I like the short story because it's short, usually interesting, and even a little poetry. You know, the famous ones like Robert Frost, I suppose, and also Emily Dickinson. And one poem that she wrote sort of reminds me of what we just, we just we read here, heard from Paul today. It's called, I'm Nobody. I'm Nobody, who are you? Are you Nobody too? Then there's a pair of us. Don't tell, they advertise, you know. How dreary to be somebody, how public like a frog, to tell one's name a lifelong June to a, an admitter, admiring bog. I know I may kind of strange hearing that, but I just kept it by those words. I'm a nobody. Who are you? Are you a nobody too? In the world, I would like to be celebrity. On social media, I want to be noticed and get likes. That's what we cry for, right? And we check out Facebook, things we put on Facebook and Instagram. We want to see how many comments, any likes I got. I mean, it builds our ego up. Huh? We love it. In our own little world, and these people want to, you know, it's, it's what it is. We're the celebrity culture. So to say... I'm a nobody. We seem that it's terrible against one's self-esteem and self-image, but Emily thinks it's okay and not to be in the spotlight. And, and you see who the God chooses? He didn't choose the famous, the powerful. He chooses, in a sense, the simple, right? The everyday person, the nobodies. And so we are somebody in Christ. That's where we find our identity, not in what we do, not what we have, or not any likes. The only one that we got to get a like and comment is from a Heavenly Father. He's the only one that counts.